So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Happy New Year! You made it! 2020 is over! Maybe we should say it this way. It'd be better to say this. God has been faithful and led us through. And here we are. He led us to 2021. Hey, this is Clint Louie coming to you with five minutes from friendship. I hope you're having a great year, a great new year. God bless you. Don't forget to eat your black eyed peas and collard greens. All right. And I don't believe the old wives tale about it. But I'm a country boy and I like them and we're planning to have some today. We also got our Christmas tree up too. Don't judge me for that. All right, it's coming down before long, but we usually leave ours up to the new year. But I wanted to bring you just a few little thoughts about the goodness of God and what the Lord is doing in 2021. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Isn't that a wonderful promise of scripture? Isn't that a wonderful truth that we can just draw water from and, and rest our souls in? One man said this, he said, Romans eight twenty eight is a soft pillow for a tired heart, a soft pillow for a tired heart. Romans 8, 28 has been a favorite verse for many people. I used to know a dear man who, when he signed his name, oftentimes he might sign his name with the reference beside of his name, Romans 8, 28, and just reminding us of what God is doing. Let me give you a few little thoughts from Romans 8, 28. Number one is this. In this verse, we see the believer, the believer. God says that all things work together for good to them that love God. Now, frankly, I don't believe a person who doesn't love God can claim this verse. But what a marvelous, beautiful Bible way of describing Christians, describing believers. Somebody says, what's a Christian? I'll tell you what he is. He's someone who loves God with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength. He's someone or she is someone who's just given her heart and she has received Jesus as her savior by faith and she loves the Lord Jesus. Aren't you glad that God doesn't offer us an old dry dead religion, but he gives us a relationship with him. There's the believer in this passage to them that love God. And then secondly, we find knowledge in this passage. He said, we know we know, now admittedly, 2020, if it's taught us anything, it's taught us that there's a lot of things we don't know. <laughs> but God said, here's something we do know. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. We know, there's knowledge here. Can you rest your soul in that knowledge? We know. And then finally, we see God's purpose to them who are the cold according to his purpose. And he tells us that those who are saved are sure to make it all the way to glory, to be with him and to be like Christ. That's his marvelous purpose. So cheer up, child of God, you're gonna make it. Let me tell you a little story. My grandmother used to love to quilt. She quilted and she had those frames in her bedroom. And as a boy, sometimes I'd get down on the floor and look up underneath you know, the quilt and it was a jumbled up mess. I mean, you had strings and cotton and threads. It was just a jumbled mess up under there. But grandma knew what she was doing. She knew where every stitch went. And when it was finished, it was a beautiful quilt. She had every stitch in its right place. I want to tell you something. God knows where every stitch of your life goes, the good, the bad, and the ugly. He knows where it goes. And when it's finished, if you just love Jesus and walk with him, when that quilt is finished, It'll be a beautiful quilt that gives glory to Jesus Christ. This is Clint Louie. Happy New Year and God bless you.